Hey friends, it's the second episode of the Hummingbird Podcast and I headed off to make some tea for us to enjoy together and find comfort from the cold weather that I'm experiencing. Thank you for joining me and hope you're cuddled up and ready for today's session. I was hoping we could chat about silence today and I know it's a difficult topic to cover because everyone has their own unique relationship with silence. For some, silence is necessary. For others, it's very tormenting. For some, silence brings positive effect, for others, negative effect, for others, silence brings joy. Silence is connected with, has been connected with loneliness, boredom, or being alone, which may not be the case. Those are three different states that I really, really look forward to discussing further on. The topic on silence has been lightly touched on over the years, and there is no trivial answers to why that has been the case. In the 21st century, with the presence of social media and the internet, it's difficult to avoid noise and the distractions it comes with it. That's why I find for those who have stayed conscious and realized the damage it has, they've gone to practice the act of social detoxing. Silence has been connected with certain conditions. And when I mean conditions, I mean where we say that um, if I have this, then silence will prevail will exist if i do this then silence will i'll find silence so it we tend to put conditions on silence thinking that and that way of thinking has created the impression that silence is the end to the means which is not the case but now we both know finding silence is more than living in a cottage far away from civilization how we wish and it's very difficult to be selective in a world that has its own mind it's a matter of focusing on reality of our expectation and working with it. We can tap it into it at any time. So I wanted to share three reasons why silence is precious. And I hope you enjoy. First, it provides a sense of calm. The world has trained us to go, 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 go and not stop. And we wear out more often than we would want to admit it. With silence, you get to slow down and cultivate on patience. I always feel like um, the moment I find I take time to embrace silence, it's like that moment when I reboot my laptop. Uh, there's that, there are those few minutes between when it goes off and when it comes back up. That moment to me is the moment of stillness. That moment of stillness replenishes my mental resources and releases tension and stress. That's where I find silence. The second reason is that it, silence gives you time to self-reflect and stay conscious of the happenings and the patterns of your life. It allows you to process your thoughts and feelings. For example, you may be in a job that you don't want and you're aware that you need a few skills to actually step up and go to the next level. You take time to build them and you end up applying for a better job and you help yourself to develop and grow through the power of introspection and introspection doesn't only survives or revolves around a silence a time where you actually reflect and take time to actually internalize and know your desires where you want to go what you want to do yeah so retiring into a silent space is a great way to reintroduce and reshape yourself lastly it has a physiological benefit to us yeah it's known to lower blood pressure, reduce muscle tension, and other few things. And staying, for example, staying a few minutes in bed before rising to the grind of the day. Taking time to actually appreciate that you actually have a new day to explore, to try something new. Creating a certain perception for yourself, a positive one of course, before you even start moving and going and grinding. Also another one will be having breakfast in the absence of your phone. <laughs> Not the easiest of things but it works, it, it does wonders. Also taking breaths in solitude from time to time or taking 10 minutes nature walk. There are limitless and timeless activities that can make a big difference. But of course anything that's free we tend to ignore and those which that we cannot reach <laughs> we tend to long for. Yeah. So it has big benefits for both the body and the mind. It's a bit, silence is a very beautiful way to detox and show some self-love. 
don't you think? I think just like everything in life, it requires practice to appreciate the true meaning of silence, yeah? What is its role in your life? And if I can summarize, silence is a state of the absence of life's clutter, distractions, and noise, and an opportunity to replenish and start again, yeah? So now I'm curious to know, what's your take on silence? Let me know by sharing in the comments below. If you enjoyed your quality time together, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It means the world when you do. And thank you for enjoying this cup of tea with me. And until next episode, please take care.